The Chiefs divisional matchup is set as they will head to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. You're watching the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Andrews, and Patrick Holmes will go on the road in the playoffs for the first time in his career to take on Josh Allen in what will be for sure a very, very good game. Now, I'm telling you what, Chiefs Bills is sure to be a good one, and I need all the good vibes going for the Kansas City Chiefs, so let's start it right here, right now. The game for the Bills just ended. Let's get ahead of them and spam that like button down below. Get the good vibes rolling for Kansas City as they get on that flight to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. Let's let's go for a thousand. We tried to get a thousand last week. We got to 800. I know for a fact we're going to do it this week. Go down there. It takes two seconds. Hit the like button. Give that good vibes, that good juju to Patrick Mahomes, the Kansas City Chiefs, as they head on the road in this divisional matchup to take on the Buffalo Bills. Let's start looking at this matchup from a more logistical standpoint and exactly how exactly this game could go about. So these two teams very similar in a lot of ways with their record. With the scoring offense being in favor just a tab with the Buffalo Bills. The scoring defense though, well, that's where these two teams kind of make themselves known. Buffalo Bills are the fourth scoring defense allowing just 18.3 points. And the Chiefs scoring defense is second in the NFL in the regular season, allowing just 17.3 points. And both these teams had impressive defensive performances in their first game of the playoff. And now these two will get to play each other in the second round and what is sure to be a very good one. Now, right now, the line has opened up already at a minus two and a half favorite for the Kansas City Chiefs. Fun fact, though, the money line actually favors the Buffalo Bills. Now, the over-under, well, it's kind of a different type way because it's 46 and a half. What is sure to be a pretty cold game in Buffalo, but I'm telling you what, the two cold games they had this week, next week, it'll probably feel a lot warmer. And one more note, this game will be played on Sunday evening, Sunday night football. They'll kick off at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. That's exactly when it's going in Orchard Park. So 6.30 p.m. in Orchard Park on the Eastern Coast. And now we have to kind of, kind of look at these two teams from a whole. Now, the Chiefs did lose their first matchup against this Buffalo Bills team back in week 14. Now, if you don't remember that game, you're thinking, Jace, that was kind of a while back. What the heck happened? Do I have to remind you? Unfortunately, this is what happened. Kadarius Tony, the offsides, the Travis Kelsey catch, the pitch back to Kadarius Tony. The Chiefs win, right? Now, he was offsides, and that brought back the what would have been most likely game-winning touchdown. The clock was winding down. You were in Arrowhead Stadium. Every felt, everything felt like it was just right. And then this sent the absolute league into a frenzy. Patrick Mahomes was complaining. complaining. Andy Reid and Mahomes both got fined for making comments against the official. And fun fact, we saw four offensive offsides calls the next week. They hadn't called any the entire year until that point. But they had to make sure that it wasn't just against Patrick Mahomes. So that's a good thing to note. And one other thing to note. Isaiah Pacheco, where was he last week? Not there, or excuse me, last matchup. He did not play, and he could be a huge factor in this game because although I like Clyde, I like Jerick McKinnon when they were playing, but you need your RB1. You need your bell cow back to come out here and play in this divisional match, and you're going to get him with Isaiah Pacheco, who has been playing out of his mind. 80-plus yards this past weekend against the Miami Dolphins on over 20 carries. I assume he'll be a good dose of carries as well this weekend. And it could make for a huge difference because not only is Pacheco a big part of this game, but you look on the other side of the field and the Bills running back, James Cook. He was a big part of that first game. In fact, 10 carries for 58 yards, five receptions along with it for 83 yards and a receiving touchdown. This guy was running all over the Chiefs defense, and it was hard to stop him in pretty much any way. Now, this was a point in the season where the Chiefs had kind of hit a low point. It was kind of one of those times where you're thinking, how can it get any worse? The Chiefs were in a little bit of a losing streak. They thought they can come in here, Arrowhead Stadium, get back in the win column. They did not. In fact, they didn't win in Arrowhead Stadium from October 22nd until week 17 against the Cincinnati Bengals on New Year's Eve. One of those losses was to the Buffalo Bills. Now, luckily, they beat the Bengals on that December 31st game. They just won in Arrowhead against the Miami Dolphins, and now they will face a Buffalo Bills team again, this time in Orchard Park. And James Cook is certainly one to watch for because he is a guy who you have to keep in mind every single time. Now, injury-wise, let's start getting to that. Derek Nottie, he was the one injury we talked about with the Chiefs from this previous game against the Dolphins. 
This was the report we got during the game saying he was on the sideline with an athletic trainer. It looked like there was something with his left arm testing his extension, his grab, all that stuff. We have, got not, we have not yet gotten a report on him just yet. As of right now, I would assume him to be questionable. He did not return in that Dolphins game, so I think that's why you have to list him as questionable at this current time. But we'll keep you updated with the latest on Nadi and exactly what he will be what will be his availability for this upcoming Sunday night game against the Buffalo Bills? You certainly want him. I think, though, the defensive line is one area you could be a little flamboyant on or a little maybe more neat, less needy on because you have a really solid line with uh, the edge of George Karloftis and Charles Omenihu and the inside tackles of Mike Dana and Chris Jones. And then you've got some guys in the back burners that can come in and play that depth role. But you would love to certainly see Derek Nani, who played such a key role on this team all season long, healthy for this divisional matchup. Speaking of the game, before we get too much further, I got to ask who you got in this game. Is it Kansas City that I want you to type KC in the comments? Is it the Buffalo Bills that I want you to type BUF in the comment section? Listen, I know what we're all thinking here. I want everybody and their mother spamming KC. I know that it takes two seconds, so get down there and spam those KCs. In fact, I'm going to give you a second to do that right now. One other guy who did not play in the first matchup that could be a huge difference, Drew Tranquil. He did not play, and I mentioned how James Cook had such a big game. Well, I think that partially may have been because that was not that Drew Tranquil has been the guy to kind of shut down these little running back screens, these passes to the running back, and the running defense has gotten better since Drew Tranquil has returned to the field. And he's been one of the Chiefs' best players this year. If you remember, Nick Bolton was out for a good part of the early part of the year. He missed six games due to a wrist injury. He missed three games earlier in the season due to a leg injury. And Drew Tranquil took advantage of it, having 79 tackles, seven tackles for loss, four and a half sacks from a linebacker slot, and two forced fumbles. This guy was all over the field, and I am excited to see what we can see from him this upcoming Sunday night because I think he could be a game changer in a lot of different ways, especially having Nick Bolton along with Drew Tranquil. This linebacker core with Willie Gay Jr., Drew Tranquil and Nick Bolton has never looked any better. Now, I will say this. This is exactly why I'm mentioning it. You need to go put in your prize picks for the less on everything on those Buffalo Bills players when it comes out. And you can get a $100 deposit match by going to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and using code CLNS for a first deposit match of that $100. Now, if you don't know what prize picks is, it's a skill-based, real money daily fantasy sports game. And it's not just football. They got basketball. They got NHL. They got... MLB cooking up with season totals on the back, and you can go check out that. Lots of things cooking on prize picks. They don't have the Chiefs just yet, but they do have the Packers and the Niners game. So I'm going to get an early entry here with the more across the board on Christian McCaffrey and Aaron Jones rushing yards. And then I'm liking a Kittle Moore game. This guy usually performs well in the playoffs, and Brock Purdy likes to have that safety valve given Jair Alexander looked really good against the Cowboys. I'm going to take Kittle here because he's not going to be covering the tight end. So more on his receiving yards. He just needs about 50 yards. I'm thinking that's pretty much a lock. Once again, go check it out at prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use the code CLNS for the first deposit match of up to $100. I'm telling you, testing my skills on prize picks this season it's been the most exciting way to play Diddy Fantasy Sports. And if you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types. What makes Prize Picks the number one Daily Fantasy Sports app? Once again, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that code CLNS for that first deposit match of up to $100. Shout out to Prize Picks. It's Daily Fantasy Sports made easy. The injury front on the Bills news. If you watched the game, you saw Terrell Bernard, the star linebacker for the Bills, his th second year out of Baylor. He had a towel over his head as he was carted off the field. And I'm going to tell you now, it unfortunately did not look good. And Terrell has been a key piece of this Buffalo Bills defense. And to see him go down today, it really did not look good. And if you want to know how key he has been, just look at these stats. He leads the Buffalo Bills in tackles. He is top three in tackles for loss. He has six and a half sacks, three forced fumbles, three interceptions. Terrell Bernard has been the mainstay of this Bills defense, and if they do not have him, that is a huge, huge loss for the Bills. And I say this all the time. We never root for injuries, 
but this does play to the advantage of the Chiefs. Terrell played a really good game against the Chiefs the first time these two teams matched up against Diller, and having to fill that role this late in the season in the playoffs, it's going to be a tough task for a Buffalo Bills team that has had a pretty good defense all season long. Now, the one thing I think we have to talk about in this preview that I think may be the biggest thing about it, the Buffalo Bills have been stifling hot. In fact, they've won now seven straight if you include this playoff win today. Now, this started back on week 14 when they played the Chiefs in Arrowhead Stadium with a 20-17 win. They followed that up with a nice 31-10 victory against the Cowboys, a little closer than it should have been, but a 24-22 win over the Chargers, beat the Patriots, and then beat the Dolphins in Hard Rock Stadium to claim the AFC East and now beat the Steelers today. They have been on an absolute run over the past seven weeks, and it all started versus the Chiefs. And I guarantee you Patrick Mahomes knows this. I guarantee you Andy Reid knows this. I guarantee you Travis Kelsey. Kadarius Toney even knows this. Everybody on this team knows that the Bills started their hot streak against the Chiefs. And there is a very real possibility, in fact, almost near 90, that if the Chiefs would have just beaten the Bills in Arrowhead Stadium, the Bills may not even be in the playoffs. Forget even being here and having a home game. They might not be in the playoffs. And Patrick Mahomes knows exactly about that. But we do have an amazing quarterback matchup to watch because of that. It's Patrick Mahomes. It's Josh Allen. It's a playoff staple over the past couple of years. And you look forward to this matchup every single year because, well, it happens every single year. So let me know who is the better quarterback in this matchup. Is it Josh Allen? No. Is it Patrick Mahomes? Yes. I want you to get down there. Type those Ps. If you think it's Josh Allen, you can go against the tide and go against me. But that's okay. Type those Js down in the comments if you think it's Josh Allen. P for Patty Ice Mahomes. Let's take a look at these two guys in the regular season. 67% completion percentage for Patrick Mahomes, 66.5 for Josh Allen. These guys' stats are pretty much identical for a lot of facets besides one, and you'll see it here in a second. The yards, pretty similar as Josh Allen, about 120 more than Patrick Mahomes. Two more touchdowns for Josh Allen, but Mahomes did not play in that final game against the Los Angeles Chargers, whereas the Bills had to play that final game against the Dolphins to get the number two seed. And there's the stat that changes it. 18 interceptions for Josh Allen, 14 for Mahomes. And we thought that 14 was kind of a lot for Patrick Mahomes. Josh Allen is the key to the motor of the Bills offense. You turn the ball over, you force him to make turnovers, the Bills don't stand a chance. The QB rating for them are very similar. But if you force Allen on turnovers, the Bills will not win this game. The thing is, the Chiefs have not been the greatest at turning the ball over, but they have been good about beating the Bills in the playoffs, certainly Patrick Mahomes. If you look at Mahomes versus Allen over their careers, in the regular season, it's Josh Allen. He has a 3-1 and one record against Patrick Mahomes. But when the lights shine bright, when playoffs come down, and Patrick Mahomes has been an arrowhead in each of these games, he is 2-0. and Now, Mahomes, it's your time to shine again. It's your time to prove that it's not just playing at home. It's not just that. It's not just about having amazing wide receivers around you. It's not about having Tyreek. It's about being the best quarterback of all time. You can go to Orchard Park. You can prove that. Become 3-0 and against Josh Allen in the postseason. And you get your first road win in your first road playoff game. This comes down to Patrick Mahomes, and I think he's going to have a big part in either a win or a loss come Sunday evening. Now, I want you to get in the comment section and predict the score of this game. I know it's a little early. we still got about six, seven days before this game comes up. But, hey, no time like the present. Get down in the comments, predict the score. You think the Chiefs will win? Give me a score prediction. You think the Bills will win? Give me a score prediction. Get down there, give me the score and the winner on the right of it. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I kind of want to see what all of you Chiefs fans, or if we got some Bills fans in here, are thinking. You want my score prediction? Chiefs are coming out on top of this. 27 21. I don't see Patrick Mahomes losing in the playoffs to Josh Allen. And I may regret those words. But this team is starting to fire on all cylinders at the perfect time. Isaiah Pacheco looks great. You have Patrick Mahomes, who looks comfortable. This defense is playing out of their mind. And the biggest key to all of this, I go back to the injury to Terrell Bernard. He is a huge piece of that defense. And if he is not able to play come Sunday evening, that is a ginormous loss that opens up the entire field for the Kansas City Chiefs offense. And that's been the big thing. Meanwhile, the defense, I trust them. And I want them to get turnovers, but if they can't do that, they still were able to hold the Buffalo Bills to a pretty good margin, 20 points against them in Arrowhead. So I like this matchup for the Chiefs. I would love to see 
nothing else than Patrick Mahomes get the road win because everybody's always talking about Patrick Mahomes hasn't played a road game. Patrick Mahomes hasn't played a road game. Well, guess what? Now he does. Let's go watch it, and let's go watch him get the freaking win. We appreciate you watching, as always. We're going to keep you covered all week long on the latest news and rumors heading up to this game. From the Chiefs' side, any Bills injury updates, we'll keep that updated as well. And pretty much everything you need to know is all right here. So this is the place you want to be all week long. Hit that subscribe button. And heck, if you're feeling generous, you want to stay with us for a little bit, and you want to know when we're posting, hit that bell button. It's going to give you an alert whenever we post a video and 30 minutes before you go live, which, by the way, we have a live show tomorrow at 3 p.m. talking about more on this matchup and all the news and rumors. Plus, we'll be live for this game come Sunday evening, 5.30 p.m. kick, which means we'll be live around 4, 4.30. We will see you tomorrow, and we'll see you for the game. We appreciate you, as always. Chiefs Kingdom, peace out. Thank you.